God, it's taking care of business here tonight. Oh, a nice splash from the hemp arms. Going for the cross face. No love, no love at all for these for these four individual divas. That you can tell there's a lot of intensity. Wait a second. Wait a second. That theme song sounds familiar. What's going on? I don't I don't know, Captain. We're hearing a theme song going on here. We'll be right back, folks. Don't go anywhere. It is Gina Carano. She's back and sexier than ever. Attacking on Macy LeBlanc Smith. Where did all the divas go? Where did the divas go? Yes. Amazing! Oh my god! I don't know where to begin, folks. I am just amazed. Gina Carano back on the block. Oh, look at this. Oh! And now, oh no, we have, we have, a, we have a guest. We have company. Killer Kyle! Another member of the Ship Disturbers. Where's Pay when you need her? Oh, nice. Nice uh, offensive maneuver there. Wow, this match has totally changed, folks. Definitely match was deemed no contest. Now we have this on our plates. Oh, no. Oh, no. Gina Creno is busted wide open. Which in this case means he's intense. Oh my god, really? Really? Yeah. Really? Newly out of a out, out of winners. rehabilitation. Just out of rehabilitation, Gina Carno comes out to strike on the Ship Disturbers, and once again, the Ship Disturbers reign supreme. Killer Kyle, first time seeing her back this year. This is unfair, folks. This is really unfair. And it's not over yet, folks. I know that Gina, I know that Gina Carno has a lot left in her tank. A lot freaking left in her tank. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in to Tuesday Night Bomb. I am Johnny Mavaganoush, alongside my clerk commentator, Captain Obvious. And what we have just witnessed tonight was something I, I, I was unexpected. Never saw this before, folks. Gina Carano coming out of nowhere, her theme song playing out of God knows where, came out to try to clean house, and then Killer Kyle, we haven't seen her in a long while, she comes back, completely fucks the sauce for Gina Carano, and as a result, she was down, and the referee wanted to ensure her safety. In the end, rang the bell, whatever, just doing his job, and the shit disturbers once a fucking again reign supreme. I'm getting awfully sick and tired of this, Captain. Something has to be done. Something has to be done to these, to, to these women, this band of divas. They obviously have a big bone to pick with Soul Calibur 4, and they have a bone to pick with Gina Carano. What's going to happen? I mean, where does this all go for, folks? I mean, I don't know. Will this all be settled in the ring eventually next week? The week after? Devil's Feud Cake? And speaking of which, folks, Devil's Feud is going to show to be one hell of a pay-per-view. Main event against right now, ladies and gentlemen. 
For the Universal Championship, it will be Danny Cans and Shane Eaton McKay. But we also have, for the No Mercy Championship, Kit Trustworthy and Scott Pilgrim, the winner of the Super No Mercy 7 match at Blood, Sweat and Tears. We also have the Cruiserweight Championship title where Kurz, unfortunately tonight, Lady Luck was not getting him a lap dance, but maybe at the end of the night, on February 17th, defeating his opponent that night, Pumpkin Escobar, she will definitely give him a lap dance. The T-Tag Team Championships will be on the line as well, as the new Rhapsody and Team Mexico do battle. A whole lot more, folks. We still have a couple more weeks left before Plug, before Devil's Food Cake, so tune in each and every week to Choose a Night Bob and, of course, No Mercy Hardcore Wrestling. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, is our main event of the night. Fishes, Jeremy, and Chris Jericho, the most talked about match this entire evening. Last week, folks, in a non-televised match, Chris Jericho got lucky and put Vicious Jeremy into submission. Can history repeat itself? Can lightning strike twice? We will find out, folks, and standing by right now with Rick Rocker is Y2J, Chris Jericho. Rick, the floor is yours. Coming up next is our main event of the evening. Y2J, Chris Jericho boasts that he should be the main eventer, but his opponent, Vicious Jeremy, has a, has an, a descending opinion. Let's go to the ringside for this upcoming battle here on Tuesday Night Ball. J. Chris Jericho, our savior, the big show off. And Mr. Big Show Off, he has to compete against Dolph Ziggler at WrestleMania 29. That's in a few months from now, but still. Chris Jericho last week came up short. Defeating Vicious Jeremy with his own move, the Lion Tamer or the Walls of Jericho. He may be lucky last week, don't mean shit this week. The mood has changed as the Flaming Fist arrives. A vicious, uh, a vicious Jeremy, of Chris Jericho bad-mouthing him. And can you blame the guy? This shall be a heated battle, folks. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. The time for talk is over. Talk is cheap, motherfucker. The same way as last week almost. The verbal confrontation. Off the ropes. Shove. Knife edge chop sends the flaming fist down. Can Chris Jericho distinguish, uh, uh, extinguish the fire? Oh! Tilt to world backbreaker, nicely done. Which is Jeremy motioning to get up. Misses the Enzugini kick. 